the head football coach of the St. Andrews Crusaders in Austin and 1990 Heisman Trophy winner at BYU. Ty, welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. You got it. Hey, Ty, I have a question. Is, is there more pressure to win as the quarterback of BYU or to win as the head coach of a Texas high school football team? <laughs> it's uh, comparable for both. I think <laughs> probably coaching, you feel it a little more than you do as a player because you have no control over what goes on it. Let's talk about the game this weekend, uh, St. Andrews versus Fort Worth Country Day. BYU and Texas also play. What are you <laughs> expecting your matchup tonight against those guys? Well, we, um, we beat them last year, but they're a little better team, and we lost about 13 seniors on a team of 25. So uh, we're young, but, you know, I think uh, – you know, if we can go out and just play hard and continue to to improve, um, we should have a, an opportunity to to be in the game at the end, and that's kind of what you're looking for in a game like this. There are only a certain number of individuals that get to enjoy the life of being a Texas high school football coach. Ty, what is your week? What is your average week like during the football season? You know, uh, Mondays and Tuesdays are a little bit longer, where you're putting the game plan together and. Uh, you know, kind of making sure you got everything ready to go. And then, uh, you know, kind of, let's say Thursday, Friday, you're just uh, making sure that practices are going smooth, kids are staying healthy and doing what they're supposed to in and out of school. And um, so, you know, as you go later in the week, things kind of calm down a little bit. But, you know, it's probably like every other level, early in the week, you're, you're grinding and kind of putting the time in and making sure everything's ready to go for Friday. Ty, you live in Austin. What's the vibe right now as BYU and Texas prepare, prepare to play tomorrow night? Well, I know Corey Roberts lives up there in the Provo area, and, uh, you know, he's telling me all kinds of stuff going on in Provo. But down here we got, uh, we got you know, everybody's excited for, for the season, and I think uh, Texas fans are really looking forward to this game because it's kind of a test to see where they're at, you know. And, and unfortunately, the – their center's out, the quarterback's out, and now they've suspended both tackles. So, uh, you know, I don't think people are as confident as they were uh, at the beginning of the season. But uh, at the same time, I think everybody's waiting to see, you know, kind of where this Texas team is as far as, uh, you know, toughness and stopping the run and, and getting back on track. Is that a little weird that Texas in Austin with BYU coming in is – not the favorite, and that there's this vibe that, you know what, this is a really, really big game with BYU. It's Texas, for goodness sake. It really is. You know, I, I think after what happened last year, uh, you know, everybody was kind of embarrassed uh, around town, and it was kind of nice to be a Cougar fan uh, for a week. <laughs> but, uh, you know, everybody, you know, now I think they understand, you know, BYU is a, a good, solid team, and, and uh, you know, it's just a different vibe. You know, Texas isn't what it used to be, uh, but there's no reason they can't get back there. And people are just kind of chomping at the bit for that to happen. So uh, I think, you know, all eyes are on uh, Austin, Texas this year to, to see, you know, how Texas responds from last year's game. BYU quarterback Ty Detmer, Heisman Trophy winner in 1990, joining BYU Sports Nation, finished his career with 59 NCAA records. Ty, you played with BYU's current offensive line coach, Garrett Tujay, and uh, we we enjoy his personality. We want to know what it was like to play with him back in college. What was Garrett like as one of your offensive linemen? Uh, He's he's probably real similar to what you're seeing as a coach. You know, he's (laughs) he's very energetic and, uh, you know, he's kind of gung-ho and and probably still thinks he's one of the guys, so he's probably got to, you know, figure out how to turn that switch from coach to, to buddy to mentor to all of those different hats you wear as a coach so um i know he's excited to be there and just talking to him the last couple of years uh you know he, he can be happier being in pro bowl and working with that group of guys and uh you know he brings a real energy to that group i think absolutely and he's mentioned the word nasty a lot he wants his guy to be guys to be nasty that's not a byu word per se but i think it's okay for offensive linemen well you guys played against a bunch of notable names whether they had a great record or not, good programs with good brands, and you guys won a lot of those games. How is your preparation different for those games where you know, okay, maybe we need a different uh, level of effort and execution to make a statement? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, with, with Coach Strong coming in here, he's tried to bring that to Texas, you know, that nastiness, that 
uh, discipline and accountability and, and toughness, trying to get that back uh, where Texas used to be, you know, uh, five, ten years ago. And so uh, I think for BYU, you're, you know, you're coming in and, and even though it's, you know, Texas isn't where they used to be, they're still Texas. And you know you're going to get a fight and you know they're going to battle and it's going to be a game. And so, you know, I think the preparation for BYU is, you know, we got to go in and we got to, like you said, be nasty and we got to get physical and we got to be disciplined and beat them for the punch. So, you know, preparation this week is, is probably all about that. Is let's be physical and let's beat them to the punch and, and uh, run our stuff and execute. Ty Demmer joining BYU Sports Nation 1990 Heisman Trophy winner. Ty, I'm looking forward to this BYU offense who looked really sharp, uh, consistent against UConn, taking on Charlie Strong's defense, who are historically very gritty, physical, tough. That's, that's the one thing that I am really looking forward to. What, what things are you going to be looking for specifically in tomorrow's game between BYU and Texas? Yeah, I think those same things. You know, you're, you're looking for, you know, how much push you're getting on the offensive line. Uh, and we separate, you know, if we're getting some man coverage, how do, you know, how do the receivers react? Uh, you know, Taysom's decision-making maybe with a little more speed on the field this week than, uh, than last week. And so, um, you know, I think all those factors for the offense uh, will come into play. And, and typically BYU hasn't been a fast you know, starter right out of the gate. So it was great to see them execute the way they did. I know they had a couple lulls in the second half, but, uh, you know, for for a team that runs that type of offense, a lot of times it's rhythm and game, game situations. Uh, you know, I know last year started out pretty slow, trying to get used to the offense and the speed of everything. And this year uh, they started out, you know, kind of in midseason form. So, you know, I, I think everybody's looking for another step uh, in the right direction this week and another another chance to uh, play against a, a good team on the road. You're the last non-Power 5 conference, or whatever we want to call it, uh, Heisman Trophy winner from a team in a non-Power 5. What would Taysom Hill have to do just to get to New York City as a finalist for the Heisman this season, in your opinion? Uh, just play the way he plays. You know, he's a guy that's going to have the ball in his hand every play, and uh you know, whether it's run or pass, he's got an opportunity to, to make a statement on, on each game that they play. And, you know, as a player, you, you don't think about those things and, and what do I got to do? You know, you go run the offense and that system and, and BYU, you know, the quarterback position, if you're winning games and, uh, and running the offense and executing, you're going to put up the numbers and you're going to have the, that national profile all eyes on you as a quarterback there. Ty Demmer with us on BYU Sports Nation. We're previewing BYU in Texas. He is in Austin. High school football coach at St. Andrews has a game tonight and will be at the BYU-Texas game tomorrow. Okay, Ty, I know that it's only been one game, but from the little bit of film that you saw on Taysom Hill, can you sense that he has made any sort of significant improvements in his footwork and confidence as the signal caller at BYU? Well, you can tell uh, as the season went on last year, he got more and more comfortable. And I think some of the things that they had him do, they, they kind of tweaked. And, and uh, you know, I had a chance to talk to him this summer, and he felt really good with a few of the, the changes that they made as the season went on. And you saw him, you know, really become a, a good passer um, as the season went on last year. So now with a full off season under the belt and the chance to, to really kind of hone in on those things uh, and, and work, you know, your individual technique throughout the spring and summer, um, you know, he's right on track to be where he needs to be and, and uh, just, you know, off to a great start. But I think a lot of it goes back to the last year and getting comfortable with the system and the timing of things and, and the things they were asking him to do. Ty, to you, is this in any way, any kind of uh, audition or play into the Big 12 in any small way tomorrow against Texas? No, I don't think so. I think uh, people know, you know, what BYU brings to the table. Uh, you know, you can go back to last year and, and look at it. And, uh, you know, this year is no different. It's a, it's a game that they want to go out and win and, and get by this one, and then you start having some home games. Uh, you know, they really have a chance to run the table the way the schedule's set up if, if they can get by this one. And uh, I think, you know, us as fans, I know for me, this was the one, the big one, that if they can get by this one, they got a chance to run the table. So they run the table. Um, you know, it's hard to keep people out of a conference if you want to get into one at that point. 
Let's say BYU does have a special season, led by Taysom Hill, and he gets on a major Heisman Trophy campaign run. Most importantly, Ty, will you help write the rap song for the Taysom Hill Heisman campaign? <laughs> they don't want me writing a rap song. Be a, a country we song? We might be able to come up with a country song down there we go. Here or something like that. Oh, I did want to. I did want to clue you in. Remington Peck, one of our starting defensive linemen, is a big time hunter. So if you get a chance to talk to Remington at any time, I'm sure you two could uh, could exchange some war stories about hunting. Yeah, we'll have to do that for sure. <laughs> Will you make it up to any home games this year, Ty? I, I don't think so at this point. I, I don't have any uh, kind of circle that we're looking at. You know, with the football season going on and things. Uh, we end right there at the 1st of November and, and uh, could possibly sneak away for one uh, sometime in November um, before the you know the bowl season starts. So at this point, I don't have plans to come up, but you know, we'll definitely be watching on TV. Ty, we always appreciate the time. We wish you the best of luck to your Crusaders tonight in your Friday night uh, light game there in, in Austin, Texas, and uh, always nice to have you on BYU Sports Nation. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.